As a real estate agent, there's one question that I get all the time. How's the market? And that's exactly what I'm going to answer in this video. I'm going to go over what's happening here locally in Brevard County and of course the Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral with the housing market. So stick around. My name's Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here in Cocoa Beach on the Space Coast and I do regular videos just like this one. So if you're interested in learning more about living, working and playing here and of course real estate updates, you should probably hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time I put up new videos just like this one. And if you do happen to be moving either into our area or out of the Space Coast, I'm sure that you have questions. Well, I get questions from folks just like you every day that I love to answer and I'd love to hear from you too. You could either call me, text me, you can comment below, you could hunt me down on social media and send me a DM, however you like to communicate, I am great with. Now let's get on with this housing market update. So if you're not familiar with what's happening in our uh, real estate market here in Brevard County, it is bananas. It's bonkers. It's crazy. Our real estate market, it's on fire right now. This is the third month in a row that our inventory for the entire county has either been at or below 2,000 properties for sale. For the month of November, we beat last year's sales again with just under 1,200 properties selling for the month of November. This puts our inventory at a 1.65 month supply of homes for sale, which is the sixth month in a row we've been below a two month supply of homes. So what does that supply of homes mean? Um, no matter what market you're in, whatever part of the country you're in, we always look at our supply of homes for sale at any given time. It's the number of sales that happen divided into the active inventory. And if our supply is over six months, it's considered a buyer's market. If it's between four to six months, that's considered a balanced market. And anything under a four month supply is definitely a seller's market. Here in Brevard County, we've been in a seller's market since 2010. Um, the last four years, we've been at, at around a three month supply. And here for the last six months, we've been under a two month supply. So that means it's a very active market if you're planning on selling your home. And if you're looking to buy a property, you're going to need to be patient when you do go looking to find yourself a home. So where exactly have these 1,200 properties sell in the county? Most of them, no surprise, is in our largest city here in Brevard County, which is Palm Bay. 232 of the homes or properties that have sold were in the city of Palm Bay. Next up I'd like to look at is the zip code for 32940, which is North Melbourne and the Vieira area. There was 117 property to sell in the 32940. Million dollar home sales are also up for the for Brevard County, we had 17 properties sell in Brevard County for over a million dollars. The highest price one was in Rockledge that sold for $2.1 million. The median home price sale for the county was $265,000. Average sales price was $322,054. And the average days on market for a property to sell is holding at 40 days. So of the 1,200 properties that it sold, Seven days or less, 490 of the homes sold in seven days or less, and 794 of the properties sold within the first 30 days. So as you can see, Brevard County housing market is very active. So that's what was happening in all of Brevard County. Let's look to see what's happening in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. With our condo market, right now we have 121 active condos for sale, ranging from $92,000 for a one bedroom in the Golden Gate Manor in Cape Canaveral, all the way up to the 10,000 square foot penthouse in Villa Verde in South Cocoa Beach that's listed for $2.997 million. Let me know if one of you want to see that because I'd like to see the inside of it too. Condo sales for the month of November in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral, we had 62 properties sell. Uh, the low end was a $73,000 condo in the Golden Gate Manor. And the, the highest priced condo to sell was in South Cocoa Beach in the Rio Mar condominium complex. This was Direct Ocean, sold for $900,000. The median price for condo sales in Cocoa Beach was $354,000. And the average condo price was $364,107. Average days on market for condo sales in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral was 62 days. So for single family homes in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral, 
I haven't seen anything like this in the 17 years I've been in real estate. Right now, there's only 24 homes on the market for sale. Compare that to last November when there was over 60, you can see we're in dire need of inventory here at Beachside. Price range of homes available right now in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. The lowest priced home is on Harrison that's listed for $339,000. And the highest price home is in Snug Harbor in South Cocoa Beach is listed for $1.399 million. What's crazy is of the 24 homes that are on the market for sale in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral, there are two that are under $500,000. Home sales for the month of November, we had 12 properties sell in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. The low end was $245,000 for a home on Gadsden in Cocoa Beach. And the highest price home to sell was off South Banana River Drive. This was a canal front just before the river, listed for $1.049 million. The crazy thing about this house, it was on the market for one day before it got a cash offer and close. Median home price of the sales for Cocoa Beach Cape Canaveral was $465,000 and the average sales price was $547,033. Average days on market for these homes to sell were 48 days. So as you can see, our real estate market uh, here locally in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral and throughout the county, it's been rather active. Um, if you've been on the fence and thinking about is now a good time for you to sell, you should definitely give either myself or uh, somebody you know in the real estate industry a call just so they can give you an idea of market value time frames to see if it does make sense for you and your family. And if you are one of the many folks who are looking to buy in the area, I ask that you have patience, get things lined up so your offer looks as good as possible. And if you'd like to talk about steps and strategies to work on making your offer as acceptable as possible, I could help you with that too. And if you made it this far to the video, you probably like what you're seeing. And if you haven't done so already, you should hit that subscribe button. Plus, I've got two more videos queued up right there for you to check out. My name is Eric Larkin with Remax Aerospace. I'll see you on the next show.